What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only paid to drive. And of course, pay to drive vlogs coming at you with another new video. Hope you're all doing great out there. If you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you are in the right place, my friends. That's right, to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications with the little bell to the right so you're always notified when I post something new. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So let's jump into this email, all right? Triple Lindy style like Thornton Mellon. So this comes from Mika Lee or Micah Lee. I think it's Mika Lee, okay? So they said, hey, Pete, been watching for a while. I used to do Grubhub about two years ago. I got deactivated for inactivity when I switched to Rideshare. Now I do Amazon Flex and DoorDash. And by the way, uh, a viewer not too long ago said they had the same problem with being deactivated for inactivity. You can actually contact Grubhub and they will reactivate your account. I don't know if you knew about that, but you can. Uh, all this week, I've had random orders that seemed like decent tipped orders. Upon delivery, they were just really high base pay. This is one of the last ones I got and finally said I'm going to start taking screenshots of them because it seemed weird. This order in particular was from Advanced Auto Parts. The others were regular food orders, but similar in their percentage, not the number. Like a $10.75 payout with a $3 peak and a $7.75 base pay going 4.8 miles. I also have had orders with six or seven dollar base pay with peak pay with it with tip. So in case you think that this might be a sham, check this out. Here is the actual screenshot right here that they provided. So it says delivery complete, right? It says you're out of your delivery zone and all that, but that part's irrelevant. Pay, base pay. You ready for this? $20.75. Base pay, and then they, then they got paid the two dollars for peak pay, a total of twenty two seventy five. Check this out. I myself have not seen that before. Look at that, right there. You guys see that? So, I have questions here. Okay, my question is, why was the base pay so high for this particular order? I'm just a little bit confused here because it's like, is it because it was for advanced auto parts because you're you're not hauling food, you're you're bringing, you know, auto parts to a customer or, or whatever? It's very strange because in my opinion, um, I, I think they should be offering this, this higher base pay for a lot more orders, you know? Because I'll be honest, if they just had a higher base pay, we wouldn't have to rely on the tips so much. You know what I mean? Like, does that make sense to you? Because think about it. We are, you know, DoorDash is banking on the fact that, well, let's try and pay the drivers or the dashers as low as possible and try and foot the cost over to the customer. But we know the customers can't be relied on because, you know, it's a 50-50 shot that you're going to get a tip or, you know, or get a good tip or get a tip at all, you know? Because it really seems like I would say 30 to 40% of the DoorDash orders are like no tip orders that are just $3 payouts. <coughs> however, however, as we have discovered, you know, in recent months or at least in the last year, that DoorDash has been, you know, dispatching orders to Dashers from places like Walmart, uh, you know, and Papa John's and, and, you know, maybe Chipotle places where people are placing orders through their through the Walmart website or Papa John's website or through their app or whatever and it dispatches to a dasher with no tip on it so therefore you get the three dollar order you know and then the customers confused now I don't know how these customers are ordering from advanced auto parts if there's an app or if they're ordering through the advanced auto parts website and it dispatches to a, lo a local advanced auto parts and if they have it in stock it dispatches out to a dasher that's local, kind of like the Walmart thing. But if that's the case, right? And they're offering a $20.75 uh, base pay, then why can't they do that for other orders too? 
doesn't make sense. Unless maybe the customer's paying, maybe like that's what the customer paid for shipping and they're just adding it on to the base pay for the driver, could be. But all I know is I would take a $20.75 uh, base pay any day. Would you? Let me know guys in the chat or the comments why you think that this base pay is so darn high, okay? So I don't know. Anyway, I'm not gonna complain about that. So thank you, Mika, for, for sending this in. And if you guys ever wanna uh, email me anything or whatever for a topic for a video or just have a question, uh, email me at paytodrivestories at gmail.com. That's the best place to reach me. Um, and for a quicker response, you could message me through Patreon at patreon.com slash pay to drive. Uh, and anyone who signs up, I give shout outs in new videos. I'm gonna do that right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We got Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Ginny Thomas, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. So yes, guys, link is in the description or in the pin top comment if you wanna sign up for Patreon. Um, so keep that in mind. And of course, everyone, if you want to sign up on the Get Upside Gas app, do it today. Seriously, link is in the bottom of the description down below. It's a free gas app for your smartphone. And it works like this. You download it from the link in the description on your phone. Any phone will do. Uh, you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it. All right. And of course, if you guys want one of these pay to drive shirts, these all right, all right, all righty, all right shirts, you can get this one and many others over at paytodrivestore.com. That link is in the description or the pin top comment. Everything's on sale. We have lots of different designs, really comfortable clothes, uh, different colors, different sizes. It's all on sale, paytodrivestore.com. Go check it out today, links down below. And if you made it to the end of this video, leave a comment saying END351, END351. Just lets me know you made it to the end. And uh, subscribe with all notifications on. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on the bell so you're always notified when I post something new. And of course, if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And until next time, everybody, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you all next time right here on Paid to Drive. And of course, Paid to Drive Vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one.